Machines with standard spindles can provide you with great material removal using a variety of cutters and techniques. This can complement high-speed equipment to balance your budget and maximize productivity. Slotting, high-feed milling, and plunge roughing are three techniques that can help maximize material removal. Plunge roughing uses many of a machine's core design strengths to maximize its productivity. The cutter, spindle, and machine frame all work together with the axial cutting forces. Plunge roughing may be accomplished with the side of a tool or with an entire center cutting tool like this large carbide insert drill. Though the drilling appears to be slow, the material removal rate is great because of the drill's surface area. The drill is especially productive because of its coolant delivery at the inserts. Note that the machine is not equipped with through spindle coolant, yet this drill itself provides a cost-effective solution. Additional material is efficiently milled using a continuous helical path. Here we see high feed milling. This method uses radial feed, still leveraging vertical force to maximize productivity. This one inch diameter insert cutter is turning at 2500 RPM, feeding at 80 inches per minute. The step down is only 20 thousandths of an inch. The chip load per tooth is 16 thousandths of an inch. The small step downs used for high feed milling leave us close to the desired shape for finishing. Slotting uses side force and deep engagement for its efficiency. Historically, slotting was a slow process, primarily because of the heat buildup in the cutter and material. The 180 degree engagement of slot milling traps the cutter and builds heat over more of the cutter's rotation. There is less rotation time for the cutting edges to cool before re-engaging the cut. Slotting tools are designed to withstand the higher cutting temperatures. Their design also helps remove heat in the chips to keep the part cooler. This particular slotting mill is designed for high pressure through the spindle coolant delivery right at the cutting edges. In this way, speeds and feeds can both be increased to nearly double productivity with longer cutter life. Here are a few tips to help you get the most out of your cutting tools for higher productivity and longer life. Use the Tool Manufacturer's Guide for spindle speed, feed rate, and application info. Follow manufacturer's recommendations for coolant. In some cases, flood coolant can actually be bad, causing premature fracturing of cutting edges because of the thermal shock. NDM, or near-dry machining, may provide better cutter life and finish by lightly lubricating the material being cut and the cutting edge. In some cases, just an air blast will help with some cooling as well as chip clearing to avoid recut. Magnetic work holding or other fixturing may help speed setups. Simplifying setup is important to maximizing the benefit of roughing and finishing on two different machines. A variety of milling techniques can help you get the most out of your standard milling spindles. Plunge milling can efficiently remove large amounts of material. High feed milling gets rid of stock in thin layers to get your contours close to net shape quickly. Slotting can efficiently remove deep and narrow areas of a part. Always use the cutter manufacturer's specific guidelines for each cutter 
to establish speeds and feeds as well as coolant. Efficient fixturing can help make it cost effective to rough and finish on different machines. This way, you can put your standard speed spindles to good use, working together with other machines for maximum productivity.